So if we were to summarise where we've been so far, we now understand what the data requirements for R are and what sort of formats we can use as input. And uh, you can revise that by going back through some of the material. Um, we get them in from uh, text or Excel files usually. And it's always recommended that we store the data because we might have uh, tidied it up within the R workspace uh, to save it in the R format. Then we do whatever analysis that we need to do. Initially in this unit we'll use R Commander because it's menu driven uh, and therefore a little bit more easy to get our head around than something like R Studio where we might have files that contain lines of code or script um, and there are some very nifty things associated with our studio called our notebooks where we can put chunks of code in a file uh, and it'll produce some nice tidy output for us um, with a bit of extra coding and now that that's a nice way to do things and it's certainly if web publishing is your objective it's great uh, but you may or may not want to do it it's not a bad way to keep code for a particular project nice and tidy though so it's worth considering and finally we we want some output of course we've looked at text output remember we did some data summaries uh, we've looked at producing some simple graphs now both of these can be copied and pasted into your favorite word processor or other type of software um, the graphics in particular can be copied as a meta file which uh, is a very high quality format uh, and the text, of course, can just be uh, cut and pasted into Excel um, if we want to make tables or uh, Word to do the same sort of thing. And finally, um, the other types of output that we can generate are output files, so we won't get much into that in this unit.